Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and we are continuing on with the AP Physics 1 kinematics uh, questions here. So again, this is from the AP Physics B exam, but like I said, it's still good practice. You should be able to do these kinds of problems. And this is like an experimental design problem, which is actually pretty similar to some of the AP Physics 1s where they ask you to design an experiment. But in the past, they've had you like analyze it a little bit. A student wishing to determine experimental acceleration gravity G due to gravity is an apparatus that holds a small steel sphere above a recording plate as shown above. When the sphere is released, the timer automatically begins recording time of fall. The timer automatically stops when the sphere strikes the recording plate. The student measures a, a fall for different values of the distance D shown above and records the data in the table below. These data points are plotted on the graph. Okay. On the grid above, sketch the smooth curve that best represents the data. I am terrible at sketching on my thing here, but... Something like that. The, gr the student can use this data... Okay, so it's kind of quadratic. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Student can use this data for distance d and time to produce a second graph from which acceleration g due to gravity can be determined. If only the variables d and t are used, what quantity should be used to, to produce a linear relationship? Okay, so this is sort of like I got to solve the kinematics and I want to get something that's sloped. So um, what I want to look at is um, the distance. Uh, let's see. So delta x, the time to fall, right, is equal to v naught t plus one half a t squared. This is my general equation. Because I'm just simply dropping a ball, I'm releasing it. Its initial velocity is zero. So that's one half g t squared. Because it's subject to gravity, that's the acceleration it's going to feel by falling. And I want to estimate g. And so delta x is just d. So d equals 1 half g t squared. Now if I think of this as 1 half t squared times g, then if, then if, if g were the slope, then this is my x value and this is my y value. So I want to plot d versus 1 half t squared. Okay? on the data points. So let's let's compute d. So I have d already. Let's look at what 1 half t squared would be for each of these. Um, so it'd be 0 .00098, 0 .0519, 0 0.1058, 0 0.174, and then 0.1985. And I want to plot these pretty well because I know I messed up a problem before by not measuring it um, as accurately. So let me um, actually, can I just, let's see. grab this so I can um, put it onto the next screen easily. Uh, mm, okay, good. So let's plot this data. So this is my x and then my d was my y value. So um, I, it goes from 0.1 to 2. So the vertical axis, I want this to be about 2.0. That makes this about 1.0. This is 0, 0.0. Oh, no, not quite right. One would be halfway. So why don't we make make it more like this is 1.0 and this is 2.0. Each of these is like a tenth along the way. Okay, and then I need 0, 0, 0, like my range is about 0. 0.2. So I, ideally I would like 0. 0.2 to be... So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Why don't we say this is 0.2 right here? And this is like point, let's round these. This is 0 0.01, 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.174, and like pretty close to 0.2. If this is 0.2, 
and one, two, three, four, five. This is point one here. Okay, so let's let's do it. So at at uh, x of point oh one, which would be one tenth of this. Let's see. This is point one. This is point oh five. No, that's not right. One, two, three, four. So each of these is like point oh two. So point oh one, point oh oh nine eight is like halfway here, and it's about at point oh one, which would be about there. Point oh five, that would be two, four, five, about halfway here, and then point zero five, no, point five oh, so it'd be about there. Point one and point one, so point one and and one. Then point one seven four, one two one four one six one eight, one six one seven. So I go around right here, and then one point seven. There. And then point two. A little before point two and two. Okay. So now. I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I have this thing. It's really hard to draw this thing. That's a pretty good line. Okay. What's the slope? This slope, um, I don't know. Like, I can, I mean, really, you could use any two points and compute the slope. You don't really have to draw. Let's see. With the slope in my graph. Uh, I made it go through here, point one and one. And then it goes through here about. Point two and two. So I'm gonna do point or two minus one over point two minus point one, which is one over point one, which is ten meters per second squared. It's not particularly accurate. You know it's supposed to be nine point eight, but that's the data. I could compute some of these differences and compute these slopes. State one way the student could improve the accuracy of the results of the experiment were to be performed again. Um, I don't know how they do it. Let me see. I don't know. This is kind of a qualitative question. Um, you could um, use further distances. That would sort of improve the accuracy if you had further distances and more time. Um, Small still sphere. I don't know. That's probably the biggest thing I would do. Just increase them to the distances. So uh, I hope you guys found that helpful. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I just want to let you know that I offer free homework help on Twitch or Discord. So uh, just stop on by if you have any homework questions or you just want to learn about different parts of math and physics and hang out. Hope to see you there.